Morselation is, is a technique that really had really revolutionized minimally invasive surgery. Uh, and uh, it's been a technique that's been used for, for many years uh, in gynecology management of, uh, of larger specimens being extracted through small laparoscopic ports or incisions. Essentially what it is is uh, it, it is a, a mechanical blade that causes, that allows the surgeon to remove larger specimens uh, in a piecemeal fashion in order to extract those pieces of tissue through small ports, thus keeping the, incision, the incisions tiny, keeping the surgery minimally invasive, and conferring the benefits of minimally invasive surgery. Um, traditionally, the morselation has been done in, in what's called an open morselation fashion, where the pieces are removed under direct visualization in the abdominal cavity. Um, and uh, during that process, occasionally some pieces will, will fall and then be later extracted uh, just with a grasper and removing, you know, meticulous removal, but it, inevitably you may or may not be able to get all cells of that specimen that may have fallen inside the cavity during extraction. Um, recent, controver you know, recent controversial medical cases and uh, research studies have have tried to look at uh, the risk of morselation, particularly in the area of undetected uterine cancer in a potential uterine specimen like a fibroid that may not be discovered until after the specimen is evaluated in pathology. And so, so the fibroid itself may look like a benign entity, like they mostly are, but then later it may be discovered that it's cancerous tissue. And so uh, because, because of uh, you know, some cases that were high profile in, in the media. Uh, there's been a lot of attention about this specific issue. And in certain cases, uh, particular areas of the country, the process of morselation of the fibroids in an uncontained way, like I just described, has been banned. Uh, products uh, like uh, morselators from certain companies have been discontinued. Uh, and, and many uh, surgeons and patients have been very concerned about doing that procedure for fear of harm, uh, for fear of litigation, uh, for, you know, for fear of not doing the right thing for the patient. Um, and so uh, there's been a, a number of ongoing studies to look at truly what is the, what is the risk of, of uh, undetected uterine carcinoma and uh, specifically leiomyosarcoma in a fibroid that can lead to uh, this kind of problem for a patient. Uh, the FDA currently has, uh, has a statement stating that the risk is 1 in 250. However, recent studies uh, have indicated that that number is probably much lower, uh, that the risk is much lower, uh, espe especially in patient populations that are premenopausal women. Uh, and so uh, the, the kind of the, the, the disconnect for a lot of surgeons has been that the, the studies were done in such a way that didn't, that didn't separate specific patient populations out. And, and we know that certain populations like postmenopausal women are much higher risk for this problem. And so, you know, at, at Oakdale, we've taken kind of a measured approach to this problem. Uh, we do feel that there is uh, some cause for concern about open morselation. And we don't, uh, and we have changed our practice in some ways to reflect this concern. Uh, Oftentimes, uh, your, your doctor will recommend removal of the fibroids in a contained fashion. And that way we, we can put the specimen in a bag and remove it in a contained way, either through, through a small abdominal incision or through a contained fashion by placing the, uh, the morselator device into the bag and removing the fibroid that way without spilling any specimen into the abdominal cavity. 